Okay, hello everybody. We are going to teach you tonight how to do a three-way call. And you know what? The first time I heard the words three-way call from Genevieve, I, yeah, I was like, a what? What are you talking about? So, you know, Genevieve enrolled me last June, in uh, June of 2015, and I never, ever, ever reached out to her to have her help me with a three-way call, okay? Ever, ever. The biggest mistake I have ever made. If I could rewind time, I'd probably have 50 more people enrolled under me, personally, because I made a ton of mistakes. I did it all myself. I did a lot, of, a lot of verbal vomit. I told them all about the science, about the products. I didn't listen to what they had to say. I went on and on and on and on, and I regret it. So what we're here, I'm here, Amanda's here, Kelly is here to talk to you is how to do one of these three-way calls and why they're so gosh darn important, okay? Like I said, I made a million mistakes. I do not want you to make the same mistakes I made. So I'm, before I, I'm going to introduce Amanda. Um, I don't, you know, when I started Isogenics, I texted eight people and I said, hey, I have an opportunity. I'd like you to hop on board with me and um, let's do this. And Amanda was one of the five of the eight that said yes. So Amanda's been with me since day one of this journey. Amanda just went Crystal Executive, yay, um, two weeks ago, which we're super excited. Um, I'm so proud of her. She's my first Crystal Executive. And um, she, I'm telling you folks, listen, we went up to Isogenics University in Chicago. I was driving, Amanda was in the passenger seat, and um, she did a couple three-way calls while I was driving. I was I was impressed. So you're going to learn a lot from Amanda. And you know who Amanda learned it from me. And, and we all, we just, as long as you duplicate this, you can teach it to your people and your people and your people. It's pretty amazing. So Amanda, I'm going to turn it over to you right now. Hi guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for letting me do this call this week. Just like Tara said, when I started, I thought that I could do everything by myself. I wanted to touch people, you know, I wanted to reach out to people by myself. I didn't want to ask somebody for help. But as Tara said, that is one of the biggest mistakes that I made in my business. And if I could change that, I would go back to. So I want to talk to you about why the three-way call is so important. Um, a couple of different things that I've learned along the way. And I'm going to walk you through how to actually go from a Facebook message to a three-way call, and then we're going to show you an example of a three-way call and how it should go. So um, a three-way call is a very, very powerful way to build your business. New people coming into your business bring in 80% of your business. So I recently listened to a podcast by millionaire number 44, Hillary Courtney. Um, she is a nine-star platinum, and she's actually earned over $3.4 million with Isagenix. So when I was listening to her podcast, I was, um, I was very inspired by what she had to say, so to speak. So she spoke about the reasons three-way calls were important and why she felt they were important. So the first reason that she felt was three-way calls were super important is because it actually brings in a third-party accountability. So even if you've used this system for two years, 10 years, two months, that doesn't necessarily mean that, first of all, you know everything about the system or the product, and it takes you out of the hot seat. So, for example, um, there could be circumstances where you're speaking with your family. I'll give you an example. I have a couple of people in my family that I would really, really, really like to introduce the system to, but first of all, they're not ready, and second of all, I'm not sure how to approach them. But if I were to have somebody else be on a phone call with me with them, it might take the hot seat off of you and allow them to listen a little bit better. Um, because, you know, they are your family and they don't, they might feel pressured if they're listening to you. So I think that one thing to remember is that this helps take the accountability off 
of you. So the second most, like second important thing about a three-way call is this is a really great time for you to learn. You know, you're going to learn about the products. Somebody beside yourself is explaining the products to your potential enrollee. So you may learn something yourself about the product that you didn't know before. Um, this gives, you know, I, I can tell you that whenever I started finally doing three-way calls, I did a couple with Tara, I did a couple with Dawn, and they're both completely different in the way they do their three-way calls, and I learned so much from both of them. Um, another thing is that you actually will learn the science behind isogenics. And Tara said that, you know, she kind of kept giving the science about isogenics, and, and there are certain people that want to know the science. So you should know the science behind isogenics, and you should be able to present that to somebody in a three-way call. But when you continue to hear all of this information in a three-way call, you're reminded and sometimes you're refreshed because I, I know that whenever I've listened, I have forgotten things, but being able to continually do three-way calls with people, it, it brushes me up on things. Um, so another thing is that you actually can learn other people's stories. So there were things that I learned about Dawn that I didn't know. There were things I learned about Tara that I didn't know. There were other people's stories on our team that I didn't know, but Tara was sharing stories related to the person that you're enrolling or the potential enrollee, and Dawn was sharing stories that could be related to draw in this person that you're getting ready to enroll. So whenever you can actually customize the three-way call to the person that you're getting ready to speak to, it really hits home for them and it really makes them understand or want to be a part of this team. Um, for example, there, you know, if you, if, for example, if you have an associate that you have been messaging on Facebook and they are an athlete, then you want to make sure that you, in that three-way call, you tell Tara or Jen's or my story. If there's somebody that might be interested in a weight loss, you want to tell Kelly or Lisa G's story. Um, you know, make sure that you reach out to your team so that you do know their stories because that is so important on a three-way call. Um, if you have somebody that could potentially be an income builder, you could reach out to Tara, to Dawn, to Mike, to Zach. They all have built this business very quickly. Um, they know a lot about the business side of this, so they would be a great person to do a three-way call with. You don't always have to use your coach. You can reach out to other people to do three-way calls with you if they are comfortable doing three-way calls. So um, this is, again, just a way for you to be able to relate to the other person that's on the end of that phone listening and that is interested in isogenics. Um, another great thing I think is that a three-way call actually helps you to learn about your team. If you don't know about your team, you really should be reaching out. You really, you really should understand their stories and, um, get an idea of who these people that, you know, we're community. That's one of the things I love about Isogenics. So you should know the people in your community and in your culture. Um, so another thing I wanted to touch base about was that, even as a new associate, or even as an associate that has been with this company for several years, you don't know everything. You don't know everything, and that is okay. So take that accountability off of yourself and allow somebody else to sit in the driver's seat a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. I wish so much that I could go back and I could just let myself be open to the idea of somebody else talking to somebody that I might have to coach because at the end of the day, you're still going to coach that person, but you have to remember we are a team and that's what this is all about. So Hillary said in her podcast that when you're getting your team members on a three-way call, you help move your group forward in success. So coming from a millionaire, I think that those were extremely important words to take home. Um, so you're creating a team atmosphere not only for your team, but also for this potential enrollee. Um, Isogenics actually has, like I said, a wonderful culture. So let's show them what it's all about.
Another important tip to remember is that if you are leading a three-way call um, and trying to teach your team members, you need to make sure that what you are saying is something that can be duplicable. That's what Chris Harder said, right? Duplicable. Um, Isogenics is very, very adamant about making sure that whatever we do, we can duplicate. And the reason they do that is because it makes it so much easier for us. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. This three-way call has been around for a long time. And I'm going to tell you that if you want to build your business and you're not doing three to five three-way calls per week, you are not teaching your team correctly. So I am guilty of not teaching my team the correct way to do a three-way call because I was so resistant to it myself. But I have started in the last four months to really build my business and I can owe that all to the three-way calls that I did and all of what I learned from those calls. Um, and I will also tell you, Hillary Courtney said that every single millionaire uses three-way calls every single day, every day. This should be going on in your team. If you don't feel comfortable or you're afraid, just reach out to somebody because I will help you do a three-way call. Tara will help you do a three-way call. Don will help you do a three-way call. Genevieve, we are all here to help you. That's what we are here to do. So please reach out if you need help with it. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about exactly how to get someone on a three-way call. Um, this is actually what I've started doing consistently with my team. When somebody messages me, that's on my team and they say, look at my results, look at these results, aren't they great? I say, though they are, they are fantastic, but this would make a really good post. I know that you have told me that you're interested in possibly using this as a side business or sharing with other people, so let me help you. Let me help you create your post. So they create the post, um, they put it on Facebook, and so I'm going to say, so let's say Aunt Jan has made a power post on Sunday night and she has six people who are directly asking her, hey, what are you doing? Or, hey, can you please give me some more information? So I coach my team to reply to each message or each question on that post. Hey, thank you so much for liking my post. Let me send you a personal message. Another good idea is to make sure that you include that person's name in that message because then it tags them directly and then the, your message doesn't get lost in the jumble. So then when my team member, Aunt Jan, um, gets this message going, she will set up a three-way Facebook message with the person who is asking about isogenics, herself and myself. And when she does this, she says, hey there, Jane, for example, I'm so excited to talk to you about this system. I've included my coach, Amanda, in this conversation. She is a nurse practitioner and a crystal executive with the company, and she can answer some questions that maybe I cannot. Some people who may not feel comfortable because they feel like they've been with the system long enough that they can do it themselves. I recommend that they say, you know, hello, Jane, I'm so excited to talk to you about this nutritional system. Um, I've included Amanda, my coach. I've been with this system for a while. However, you know, there are a lot of questions that she can answer that I cannot. And I wanted to make sure that you have every opportunity with both of us on this message to get all the information that you need. So it, it makes you accountable also for that person and it shows them that yes you do know what's going on but that you are creating a team atmosphere so um after that you allow the person who is running the three-way message so for example aunt jan has put me in this three-way message with her new potential enrollee so at that time i asked my team members to let me kind of get a little bit more information about the person. Um, so I will say, for example, um, can you tell me what your goals are? And then they respond with what their goals are. So I write them down. And then they might, I might ask them, can you tell me if you have any medical conditions? And I write those medical conditions down. I always have the sheet of paper with their name on top of it. I'm writing all this information down that I'm gathering. Um, and then 
I will ask them, what's your diet like? Can you tell me, are you a snacker? Do you, do you binge eat? Do you stress eat? I find out all of this information about the person and I can thank Don Cermak for that because she taught me very well on a three-way Facebook message. Um, so once I've developed a little bit of information about the person and I've written it all down, then this is what I typically say. I say, I, so I've gathered the information. I say, Jane, what if I told you that I have a solution for you? I have so much that I would like to tell you about, but it honestly is best talked about over the phone. It'll be a very quick phone conversation, and I am available to speak with you and Jan tomorrow at 8 or 8.45 a.m. Which of these works for you? So as you see, I left an open-ended question for them. I was not allowing them to have a yes or no answer because this gives, you know, this gives them the want to give you a response. Well, eight o'clock works for me. So you don't want them to have the opportunity to say no right away. So at this point, when they say eight o'clock works for me, you collect their phone number, you set the date in your calendar, but make sure it works for both parties because it's a three-way call, not a two-way call. I know I've been very guilty of being very busy and not being able to get my team member on the phone call with some of my potential enrollees, and I, I feel terrible about that because they're not learning anything if you're doing it yourself. So it's really important that you make sure that your team member can be on that phone call as well. So once you have the date set up, um, you need to keep the information that you wrote down. So that way when you get on the phone call, you still know about this person. You can look back at that piece of paper and you know exactly that, you know, Jane wants to lose 30 pounds and you can talk to her about how in the first seven to nine days with this system, most people will lose between seven to nine pounds. You know, you, you want to make sure that you incorporate all of the information you learned about them specific to this three-way call. Um, <clears throat> 20 minutes, before a scheduled three-way call, you should always send in that three-way message that you guys have set up um, a reminder, and then you need to send them an Isogenics movie to watch 20 minutes before you get on the phone with them. I have started incorporating this into my three-way calls, and it has really, it gets them excited. It gets, you know, they, and then not only that, but I feel that if you send that movie too soon, I think that Jennifer Kokish and I had this issue. If you send that movie too soon, they're going to look at, and then, then they're going to start Googling things that are probably not going to be good because Google only shows you the bad stuff, unfortunately. So make sure that you do it 20 minutes before you get on the phone call. Um, you know, this is, this is something also important is that you want to make sure that the movie you send them relates to them. If you've got somebody who needs to lose 100 pounds, you're going to send them the 100 pound club. If you've got somebody that is athletic, you want to send them um, ISA athletes. I can't remember. Isogenics. Team Isogenics. That's it. Team Isogenics. Okay, so Courtney says, no ISA movie, no three-way call. If they have not had a chance to look at the ISA movie, she thinks that you should not have a three-way conversation with them because she feels like they should have a little bit of an idea about what Isogenics is about before you get on the phone with them. Um, she also feels that you should send one video about the product and one video about the business side to every single person that you're gonna do a three-way call with. Um, she says that the three-way call should not be the introduction to the product, it should be your close. This is how you should close your deal with your new enrollee. So um, right now, I'm going to get ready to do a live three-way call example of how I would do a three-way call, but I wanted to also talk to you about a couple of, of things that Hillary suggested as far as three-way call etiquette. So when, when you are on a three-way call, your upline member is in charge of the call, and you need to make sure to give them the proper introduction. So this helps to actually credential that upline member and make their credibility much stronger. Um, two, do not interrupt in the middle of a three-way call. I will frequently ask the associate to chime in. Honestly, I will, you know, if I feel like that this could help the potential enrollee get a little bit of more information that they may relate better to, for example, Aunt Jan than to myself, then I will definitely ask them to chime in. Um, and so right now I'm going to have Kelly and Tara help me out. So to give you just a little bit of background, I have learned that Tara would like to lose 30 pounds. She is my enrollee. 
Um, and Kelly is going to be my associate. Um, yeah, right. Tara has to lose 30 pounds, whatever. But anyway. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> she also would like to increase her energy so that she can chase after her three boys and start running. She eats somewhat healthy, um, but tends to skip breakfast because she is too busy. All right. Go ahead, Kelly. Okay. Hi, Tara. Thank you for taking the time to speak with, with us today. I wanted to introduce you to my coach, Amanda. Amanda is a nurse practitioner and also a Crystal Executive Two Star Golden Circle with our company. She is going to be able to introduce you to the system and help you with any questions that you may have. Hi, Tara. Hey, Amanda. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? Very good. So Kelly's told me a lot about you, and I know that we kind of spoke on Facebook a little bit about your goals, and, and you tell me that you'd like to lose about 30 pounds. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, after three kids, it creeps on you, creeps back on you. It sure does. Have you um, ever used any type of system in the past? Um, yes, I've tried, I've tried Shakeology in the past. Oh, okay. Yes, I hear a lot about Shakeology. They actually have a really good um, fitness schedule, don't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just starting to get into that a little bit, you know. Okay, okay. So what kind of workouts do you do? Not too much right now, maybe two days a week at the gym, but I really want to get into running. I'm really, really, I want to, you know, I, I downloaded that Couch to 5K app, and mm -hmm. I'd really like to get into some running. Okay, have you ever ran before? No. Okay, okay, great. Okay, so you are also looking for energy. Is oh, right? heck yeah, what mom can't use some more energy, right? <laughs> I know, I know. It's, uh, it's, it's hard to chase after kids sometimes, isn't it? When you've gone all day and then you come home and chase after kids. I know, totally. Yeah. So tell me what attracted you to Kelly's post. You know, I've been watching Kelly on Facebook and, you know, I'm one of those people on Facebook that like don't like things and don't comment, but you know, I guess you'd call me like a Facebook stalker. And, you know, <laughs> I just, I just keep seeing, uh, I kept seeing her posts and her posts and she's so consistent with those posts. And I was like, that's it. I, I finally had to message her and say, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because you look so happy and you look amazing. So that's the reason I reached out to her because I need to lose that weight. I'm so, so glad that you reached out today. So I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm, I am the busy mom of three kids. I go to the gym four to five times a week. But about a year ago, I was struggling. I was struggling with um, no energy, working uh, 14, 16 hour days in a busy emergency department. I was stressed out, trying to also take care of my family. I had no energy. Um, and I had a friend, Tara, who introduced me to this system. She actually owned a gym. She's a physical therapist and a personal trainer. And I worked out with her and she saw me every day struggle, but how hard I was putting, the, putting my effort into this. And when she approached me, she said, hey, listen, I have something that I think will make a difference in so many people's lives, and I want you on my team. And I trusted Tara, and I said, okay, let's do it. I didn't even talk to my husband about it. I honestly just said, okay. And as soon as I got my box, I can remember that day calling Tara and saying, hey, listen, I'm going to start tomorrow. And she said, no, you're not. You're going to start right now. It's fine. I know it's 10 o'clock, but just start right now. Get your shake. Get going. So within the first four days, I actually lost six pounds. Six pounds. And um, one of my biggest things was that my husband would always tell me, you know, babe, you're going to have to just get used to that spare tire around your stomach because you're, it's genetic. And that's, that's you know, you're, you're just going to have to get used to it. I was not going to live with that. I was not going to live with that. So within the first 11 days, I actually lost 10 pounds. And then within 30 days, I had lost 20 pounds. And my husband told me that my tire was gone. It was gone. Um, not only that, but I was sleeping through the night. I had amazing energy. My kids would tell me that I wasn't so grouchy anymore. So the system changed my life. And I cannot help but want to share it with you. 
you know, Kelly is an amazing person. Her story is beyond anybody's expectations. And I'm so proud of her for what she's done. And I'm so glad that she invited you to this call because there's not one single person that I don't want to share this system with. So I will tell you that um, Isogenix is a direct marketing company. And so we, we work to share our stories with everybody. And if you don't mind, I would like to kind of give you a little bit of background about Isogenix. Do you have any questions so far that maybe I can answer for you? Not so far. Um, no, not, no, maybe in your, when you tell me a little bit about it, maybe you can tell me why this is different than what I was doing with Shakeology, because that just didn't work. Okay, so I don't really like to compare our system to any other system because our system is the most unique system out there. It's not just a shake and it's not just a cleanse. It's an entire system that works together. It's perfectly balanced. It's honestly, I, I can't say enough good about this system. So basically when we eat, even if we eat healthy, when we exercise every single day, our bodies are not getting the nutrients that they need because our, our soils are so depleted because of all the herbicides and pesticides that we have on them. And we're becoming very toxic. And so Isogenix has formulated a shake that has all these nutrients and minerals in it that you need to be able to allow you to release the toxins from your body. When you're able to get rid of the toxins that are in your body, you're actually able to get rid of fat. So again, this is a complete system. This isn't just a magic diet pill. This is something you have to work at and it's something that you have to want and you have to be committed. Um, but does this sound like something that you're interested in? You know what? I am like on a scale of zero to 10, I'm a, I'm a nine and a half right now for commitment. So you are committed. I'm all in. I'm all okay. in for this. Yes, I am. Great. Great. So what what can I do and what questions can I answer for you today to get you started? Well, how much does it cost? Okay, that's a great question. So typically there are several different systems that you can choose from. They range from $10 a day to about $15 a day. But the great thing is, is that this system actually replaces 68 meals. So instead of actually being in addition to your grocery bill, this is a reallocation of your money. Uh, so what do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Okay. So instead of actually going out and buying all the groceries and then also buying the system, you're going to use the money that you would normally use on your grocery bill and you're going to use it for your system. So 68 meals that you would have spent money on are going to be replaced by this system. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. And you said it, it, it's, so it's more than one shake a day? You actually do two shakes a day. You also eat two healthy snacks between one to 200 calories in the morning and one in the evening. And then you replace either your lunch with a knife fork meal or your dinner with a knife fork meal. And that meal should be between 400 to 600 calories. Good, good. Now, someone told me that this thing has a, like a cleanse involved. Is that, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I don't want to be on the toilet mm -hmm. all day. Okay, so that is where a lot of people are completely wrong about our cleanse. Our cleanse is actually a cellular cleanse, so you will not be on the pot all day, I guarantee it. Um, it actually inhibits or shuts down your digestive system to allow your body to cleanse um, all of your cells out, basically. Okay, okay, so you don't eat on those days? You don't eat per se a knife fork meal, but you actually eat chocolates that are provided to you by Isogenics and some snacks. Now, if you were to get terribly hungry, Isogenics would, would recommend that you would have like a quarter of an organic apple or pear, but you don't actually take in any knife fork meals because everything that you are taking in um, is all the nutrients that you need for the day. Okay. Okay, so, you know, Amanda, I don't know you at all, but I do know Kelly. Um, Kelly, you know, really tell me the lowdown on this. Is this stuff really work? Yes. Yes, it does. I've been, uh, I've been using it for a year now and within the first four days I lost 10 pounds um, and over 20 inches and my pants were falling off <laughs> within less than a week. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it works. Um, that first month though, I kind of stayed away from 
working out because I wanted to see how the, you know, how the program worked and how, you know, my body would react to the program. And then uh, as I got through that first month, I started adding a uh, workout in and I've just gotten stronger and stronger as time gone has gone on. So. Good. All right. So I trust you. I trust you. But like, what if, what if this doesn't work for me? Is there any kind of money back guarantee? That's a great question. So yes, Isogenic stands behind their product 100%. If you are not satisfied with the product or you have not regained your health back in the first 30 days, they will send you your money back minus your shipping. And I can tell you I've never had that happen. So I would gladly pay your shipping if you were not satisfied. So basically it's a win-win situation. You either, you either lose the weight and you're happy or you're not satisfied and you get your money back. So, you know, I, you know, I think I'm going to be like you, Amanda, and I'm not going to talk to my spouse about it. And I'm all in, I'm, I'm in, I'm nine and a half out of 10 committed and I'm all in. So great. So I do want to tell you that we will add you to our groups. They are private groups where you can ask questions. So we're not just delivering a box to your door. We will actually walk you through every step. Okay. Kelly's an amazing coach. She's done very well on this system. And I know that you're going to be happy with, with this system. I am so excited to have you as part of our team. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, girls. Okay. So now that you kind of get the point of a three-way call and how to set it up and maybe a little bit of overcoming objections, which we didn't do a lot of that, but um, once you actually get to the point that you are going to enroll this new enrollee, then you're going to hand this over to your associate. So you should try to keep in mind that your phone call should only last about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and this way it turns it, the accountability back over to the person that they feel comfortable with. Okay. So I always do tell the people that I'm getting ready to enroll. They do ask you for your social security number. It's never been breached in the 13 years Isogenics has been around. But if you decide that you want to share your story, then Isogenics will actually pay you. Um, so I, I actually had had a little bit of difficulty with three-way calls and my, um, my team members. So I, is Jennifer Kokish on this call? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm here. Hi there. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Sorry. My computer wouldn't work the microphone, so I had to call in on my phone. That's Okay. So um, I actually asked Jennifer to get on this message because a couple of, mm, about a week ago, Jennifer and I had a little bit of a heart to heart and it could not have been more fitting or more perfect for this call. So I'm going to ask Jennifer to tell her story now. Okay. So basically I kind of started sharing Isogenics in March. Um, and when I had my power post, Amanda had asked me if I needed help um, when people started asking for more information and I told her, I think I had, I thought I had it. And basically I developed a style where I would, um, you know, message people back and basically like Tara said, verbally vomit, give a little bit of my story, tell a little bit about the shakes um, and the cleanses. And then usually I would get their email address and email them some videos and more information. And I mean, it worked, it worked pretty well. Um, but about two weeks ago, I had a really good post and um, I had 12 people that wanted more information and I did my normal method. Um, and then about, I think it was a week later, they had the free shipping promotion. And so I was all excited and I was messaging everybody back because they had had a week to look over it. And I thought, this is great. You know, all these people are interested. I'm going to get all these enrollments and everybody kind of shot me down and everybody, you know, they either didn't answer or they had something else they were going to try. Um, so I reached out to Amanda and I said, you know, I was like in tears and I said, I just, I think I'm screwing stuff up. And I had always heard that you had to do three way calls. And I basically, I tried to get one person on the, on the phone one time and I just, they, they didn't want to do it. And I just kind of felt like people didn't want to get on the phone. Everybody texts, everybody emails. So I never really pushed it. Um, so Amanda basically said to me, you know, would you be open to doing, you know, three-way calls? And I said, yes, I would. <laughs> and so we've basically done um, 
two uh, three-way private messages. And I think the biggest takeaway I got was instead of her just giving them a ton of information, she asked them about themselves and really, you know, she was showing them that she was interested in their goals, what was going on in their lives. And I think that was the, the biggest thing that I noticed. And I could really tell that, you know, people were responding to that. Um, we've only done one three-way call. It was actually a four-way call um, so far, and it went great. Um, and, you know, I'm looking forward to doing more and, and learning more. And I think it was, um, it was nice for the person that we did the four-way call with just to hear the enthusiasm in everybody's voice. And, you know, it, it did kind of create that team atmosphere because we all kind of gave our input. And so, yeah. That's basically it. Thank you, Jennifer. So you're welcome. So that just kind of shows you that a lot of people are skeptical about this. A lot of people aren't willing to pass the reins over to someone else because they feel like it's their responsibility and, and they can't grow their business if they don't do it on their own. That's not true. That's not the idea of a team. So please, 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 please remember how important a three-way call is. Um, I listen to so many three-way calls, and I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how thankful I am I finally did it because that's when it happened for me. I quickly went to Crystal Director. I quickly went to Crystal Executive, and it's really changed my business, and I'm not done. I cannot wait to grow my team and show my team what it's going to be like for them whenever they get to reach Crystal Director and reach Crystal Executive because we are going to do this. We are going to change so many lives, but you have to be willing and open to new ideas and new ways of things. So I wanted to um, tell you all thank you so much, so, so, so much for allowing me to talk. And I'm so passionate about the three-way call after what it's done for me. So I'd like to open it up. If you guys have any questions for me, I would be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, you know, just to reiterate guys and gals, mostly gals, um, like Amanda said, I think she did a really great job tonight. Um, and you, I'm telling you, I may, I, I, I'm emphasizing this again. I made so many mistakes. Okay. The, the message I sent back when I put my first post on Facebook, I had 72 people say they were interested. 72. Okay. I messaged them back a message that was probably, it probably took them 10 minutes to read, okay? And I said, oh my God, you know, it costs this much. This is what you get in it. There's cleanse days or shake days or this and that. And you know what? I go, oh my God, Tara. So what I did a couple months ago was I actually went back and I reached back out to all those people because then I knew what I was doing. And a lot of those people either weren't interested, found something else, uh, you know, I, I mean, and I was like, crap, I lost all of that interest, all of that interest, all because I didn't do a three-way call, okay? So please, don't be afraid to talk to your coach and get involved with a three-way call. That is how you develop, that's how you get personally enrolled, and that's how you get people below you to share, just constant. And Amanda didn't really touch on this because this is a whole nother call but you have to post on Facebook. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, these people aren't just gonna come knocking at your door saying, hey, are you doing isogenics or what are you doing? You look great. I mean, you will get some of those, but you have to post on Facebook every day. That's a whole nother call and I'm sure we'll address that some, some other time. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look at Amanda or you look at myself or you look at Genevieve or any of us, we post every day single day we have a post on there and and couple sometimes a couple times a day because not not everyone sees your posts so if you post once your transformation beth has you know been very good at this recently she posted yesterday last night she posted today i saw both of them but i guarantee you all her people didn't see them in fact maybe some of them saw none of those two that she posted so never think it's too much Never. Right. Think, well, I'm going to be bugging them if I post like two times in one day. No, 
because you have the morning Facebook checkers, you have the evening Facebook checkers, you have the noon Facebook checkers, you have the ones that only check every other day. So you have to be posting on Facebook. I hate like that. The man that's passionate about three way calls, I'm passionate about post on Facebook. That's how you get the interest. That's how you will grow your team. I would say 90% of my team is through Facebook. I'm not an outgoing person, I'm an introvert. We've I've talked about this on previous calls. I grew my business through Facebook, okay? You can do it. You can do it too. I mean, we, you know, Amanda, as soon as I sat down with Amanda and taught her how to, how to post on Facebook and she started doing it consistently, Amanda has enrolled, I think Dawn told me the other day, I think Amanda's up to like 63 personally enrolled. I only have- More than four, you. What? <laughs> what? Said more than you. <laughs> more than me. Like way more than me. <laughs> way more than me. So, and, and this is all within the past like five months, guys. I mean, she was like an enrolling machine. It was like one after another, after another, after another. She went the first six months and barely enrolled anybody. So anyway, I got off the subject a little bit. Three-way calls are super important. Are there any questions? I saw one that Lisa had posted about, okay. um, about what if they just want to talk to you. And that's fine. That is absolutely fine. Some people will not get on a three-way call but don't not try. Okay. Don't try, And they may do a three-way Facebook message. They may agree to a three-way Facebook message or a three-way text, but they may not agree to a three-way call. That's okay. If try again, I'd like a man to say try and maybe they will agree for a three-way Facebook message. Would it be okay if I, I know it's six, I know it's nine forty-five. Would it be okay if I added in just a couple things or, or would you rather that I just leave it for our Facebook event group? Go ahead. We'll just do a couple more minutes here. Yeah, I, I this this was really really great, and I just um I would like to just pretty much um accent on on some of the things that that Amanda said. And um, as far as that question, Lisa, I think a lot of it is how we feel. Again, how we feel about those calls. Um, it's it's our posture with it, just like with the uh, social security number and other things. So a lot of times, if we do the whole. Um, that's just fine if you just want to talk to me. I just wanted to make sure you had the opportunity because my coach has been doing this for so much longer and I want to make sure you get the best answers you possibly could. Um, so I'll go really, really quick. Um, I, am, I am really, really, I feel really strongly about asking permission for everything. So I do not, when I'm coaching people on three-way calls, I make sure that I coach them to ask permission. So if somebody's asking for more information, I'll right away, they take it to the private message and say, I would really love to share more with you. And I would love to get my coach and the person that shared this with me involved in the conversation. Would it be okay if I added them in? And I learned this actually in, in training that I did um, with Drew Berman and um, Tom, anyway, um, and that would it be okay is a magical phrase. It's magical. It makes people really feel like they're cared for and like that's important to them that you asked. And it actually also qualifies them because they might answer, you know what, I, I, I'm, I'm really not that interested. I was just kind of curious. When you ask them, would it be okay? And they say, yes, you know that they really want to know. And I've had people who haven't done that. And then I actually, they'll message and be like, I'm not sure why they added you and I really, you know, I'm not that interested. Like that's happened a few times. So asking permission. And then as far as the movies go, um, same thing, asking permission, would it be okay? Or when I send, I'd like to send you a video, would it be okay? And will you take the five minutes to watch it before the call? It's just amazing the difference it makes. It, it puts the ownership on them. They say yes or no. And um, nobody says no to the video, but it, it just adds an ownership to it. Um, and then at the start of the calls, I always introduce both, like I have the person bringing to the call introduce both people because it really builds both up and makes the new person who's feeling a little uncomfortable feel a lot more comfortable when you say great things about them. Um, so I just wanted to add those things and this is all fantastic and that's the beauty of doing three-way calls with different people too because you'll get the different styles from there. And this was fantastic, Amanda, and I loved the um, the practice one that you did. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amanda. You're muted. Amanda, let's see. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? No? Okay. Well, next week's call, I'm not sure what it's on. Genevieve, do you know? 
I just know that it's uh, Team Janice and Don Calvert. And okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're not on this call tonight, but so it'll be a surprise. So be looking for the invite and make sure you invite the people on your team. That's so important. That's why we have these calls, you know, to educate all of us to continue continuing education. You know, it's free and uh, well, you know, nothing else to do on a Wednesday night anyway. So, um, yeah, so be looking for that invite for next week. I thank Kelly and Amanda and Jennifer Kokesh for sharing tonight. And um, I hope you guys have a great night and uh, we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.